If you're looking for the best claw grip mouse, here's the collection you've got to see. Let's get started. At any time, you can click the circle for more info and real-time deals. Number 1 Most Popular Logitech G403 Hero 16K Gaming Mouse The Logitech 6403 and G703 have recently been updated to feature Logitech's Hero sensor, which is widely considered to be the best sensor on the market right now. It is also a wireless variant of the G403, but it still uses the older PMW3366 sensor. The G703 and 403 are very similar in shape and size. The main difference is that the G703 is wireless. These two often get confused, so I have written a detailed guide on how to choose between them. Across both these mice, the DPI can range from 100 to 16,000. They are of similar size to the Zowie EC1A and feel similar to a Razer Death Adder. Perfect for all hand sizes, but even more so for those of you with larger hands above 17.5 by 9 centimeters. Number 2. Logitech G502 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse The original G502 has long been a classic, a favorite in circles that prize durability, accuracy, and high performance from their pointers. The refresh not only honors that legacy but actually improves upon it, with iterative but substantive changes that elevate the beloved classic to dissing new heights. Now packing Logitech's reliable 16K Hero sensor and with a 7 gram reduction in weight over its predecessor, the G502 Lightspeed is also very forward looking by way of its compatibility with the PowerPlay charging mat. The mat not only charges the mouse or the fly, but will actually recognize it and pair with it your computer without requiring the use of a USB dongle. The G502 is also host to a number of other small quality of life features that push it ahead of its competition. Number 3 BenQ Zowie EC2B Ergonomic Gaming Mouse Zowie's ever-popular EC1 series has a new competitor, the EC2B. The EC series are ergonomic mice unlike the ambidextrous FK and ZA series. The biggest change though is that the Zowie has put the 3360 optical sensor in the new EC2B. There's nothing wrong with the 3310 sensor, I've used it for years but the 3360 does tend to work on more surfaces. The accuracy and precision however are the same so this shouldn't be a deciding factor. For right-handed players, the EC series is exceptionally comfortable and molds nicely to the hand. If you're worried about the extra side buttons on the other ambidextrous Zowie mice, then the EC series might be for you. The side buttons are only on the left-hand side and are slightly softer than those on the EC1 series. Number 4. Steel Series Sensei 310-62432 Gaming Mouse The updated version of this SteelSeries mainstay, the Sensei 310, subtly reinvented the classic mouse. It needed it. Almost everything is new except the Sensei's ambidextrous shape, and that's exactly how it should be. Thanks to a new plastic, the Sensei is grippier and can struggle for sweaty palm. And SteelSeries is using its own custom version of one of the best gaming sensors around, ensuring the Sensei 310 won't suffer from any tracking issues. The Sensei 310 fits in your hand just like the old Sensei, and is a great shape for either left or right-handed gamers who are looking for a mid-sized ambidextrous mouse. Number 5. Logitech G Pro Gaming FPS Mouse Logitech have nailed it yet again with their newest addition to the Logitech Mice family, having brought in over 50 professional eSports players to help them in their design and feel of the mouse. The feedback from the players has definitely helped Logitech create something special, and that's why the G Pro Wireless used to be my number one claw grip mouse. It replaced my FK1 for a number of months until I tried the glorious Model Zero. Let's talk about what the G Pro Wireless has to offer. Logitech have created a new sensor called the Hero. It offers up to 16,000 DPI in 50 increments. The Hero is one of the best sensors available right now. The tracking is great and there is no jitter or pixel skipping. For more details, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video.